hey guys welcome to my channel welcome to yvette cooks if this is your first time please remember to hit that subscribe button and also hit the bell button so that you won't miss out on any of my recipes thank you for watching this video so in this video i'm going to show you how to cook cabbage stewed with uh, pumpkin seeds and chicken breast so i'm just showing you my ingredients here i have some chopped tomatoes and some chopped onions there so i didn't measure the quantity because you can use as much quantity of tomatoes and onions as you wish that's why i didn't measure anything so just play with it in a way that suits you so this is just cabbage that i had previously chopped and and steamed and and soaked in boiled water and salt for a few minutes so it was a full cabbage like that one so i did that just so that i can reduce the cooking time and also to preview pre-cook the cabbage without actually cooking it just soaking it in hot water so as you can see i've already put my water my oil i use extra virgin olive oil and i uh turn my stove on and i'm just having a little bit of the oil in there and i'm going ahead and preparing my chicken breast so i'm cutting it into like small small pieces uh just to like fry it shallowly like do shallow frying in my hot oil but you can definitely do what you want when it comes to the size of your chicken as well so i already have all my chicken uh, uh chopped and i'm just seasoning it with salt and for i'm using pink himalayan salt but you can use any salt of your choice and just put as much or as little salt as you want to to season your chicken so i'm just gonna go ahead now and put it in my hot oil and fly and fry it <laughs> and fry it sh shallowly if that makes sense and i'm just gonna leave that to fry so while my chicken is cooking i'm gonna sh go ahead and prepare my pumpkin seeds so those are just pumpkin seeds that i bought from walmart i think i bought those for like five dollars and i'm going to uh blend them in my coffee grinder so grind them in my coffee grinder and and then i'll go from there so i've ground the first batch and i'm just pouring it in there and i'm gonna grind the second one and then i'm gonna grind the third batch as well so i did not ground all of it like i i used um a 75 percent of that package uh sorry that i didn't show you what was left but there was a small that was left in the package so i didn't use all of it so i'm just flipping my chicken and just turning the side so that i can cook the other side as well so i'm just gonna let it continue to cook or to fry or whatever you choose to call it so while it's cooking i'm going to go ahead and squeeze my cabbage just to remove the extra water that's in the cabbage because i don't want uh like watery <laughs> soup right uh, well it's not soup i don't want my stewed cabbage to be watery so i've already done that and my chicken is ready as well so take a look that looks so good you could eat it like that already if you want to eat some pieces of chicken go ahead so i'm also just adding a little bit a little bit more of extra virgin olive oil because I want a little bit more oil you don't have to so i'm going to going to add my onions now and fry my onions or cook my onions whatever it is to call it in the uh, already fried chicken and look at that doesn't that just look really nice really yummy already and it smells really good guys just that you can smell it through the camera <laughs> so i'm just gonna let that cook for a little bit then i will go ahead and add my tomatoes to that just kind of stirring it a little bit more so i initially decided that i was uh wanted i initially decided to use just half of the tomatoes but i changed my mind and i am going to use all of the tomatoes so i think this is like two uh, medium-sized uh, tomatoes but you can use as much or as less as you want like i initially said look at that it smells really good 
and uh yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead now and just kind of you know turn that a little bit in the pot and let the tomato cook for a little bit longer so that the tomato is well cooked because i'm not really gonna cook anything as long anymore and i'm just going to add my uh my um what's that again <laughs> <laughs> my pumpkin seed, my ground pumpkin seed. So I, um, I'm also not using all of the one that I've ground to. So that's, that's it. I'm not going to add any more. And I'm just going to add water right now because this swells up really well when you, when you ground it, it swells really great. So I'm just going to let that cook for a little bit. And then I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt and ha and one teaspoon teaspoon of chicken broth powder and I'm adding some uh, dried powdered um, garlics one teaspoon and I'm also gonna add one teaspoon of oregano so oregano you can use any herbs of your choice any spices of your choice but these are the ones that I have in my kitchen and I'm using those so just feel free and add as much as you want I'm just trying it to see if I need to add a little bit more salt so when it comes to seasoning guys just feel free and just add as much or as less as you want so i added a little bit of salt because when i tried it it was like uh, i didn't have enough salt so i added a little more and i'm also adding a little bit of water as well so just stir uh, into a smooth consistency then i'll go ahead and add my cabbage to that and i'm just going to stir make sure that my cabbage is well coated in the um the pumpkin seed stew so yeah just make sure it's it's coated well and then just let it cook just a tiny little bit more because the cabbage is already cooked so it doesn't need to cook anymore so when i soaked it in hot water i didn't need to cook it so I, I think i left it in hot water just for a few minutes so i just let it sit for a minute a few minutes and yeah guys that is it we are done this is so ready and it is so yummy guys you have to try this thank you so much for watching this video guys and if you try it leave me leave me a comment below and let me know god bless you